much for coming. Um, I have two thoughts, first of all. Uh, what an awesome day, and welcome to the future home of LED Dynamics. My name, My name is Bob Haynes, and I'm the Executive Director of Green Mountain Economic Development Corporation. Our acronym is GMEDC. Um, we will be LED's landlord in a beautiful new facility that we will construct right here that was designed with them and for them. We, honored, we are honored to have the governor here today uh, following our tour of LED's facility. Honored to have Senator Leahy here as well. Um, their strong positions on behalf of manufacturing and technical training are well known and this celebration symbolizes a significant step for a homegrown company of dedicated and creative engineers and technicians. Um, LED competes in a rapidly changing world of high technology and is committed to doing things the right way. By educating the next cohort of young Vermonters as the company grows its employment base from a current 63 to an expected 100 or more, its product lines will expand, the local tax base will grow, and LED will continue to add to its well-deserved reputation for having great jobs, for innovation and prominence in its field, all in a very public way. As Executive Director of GMADC, I am pleased and very proud that my Board of Directors has made a strong commitment to this project. Uh, it has used up a ton of our bandwidth for the past two years, and, but we know we have now less than 10 months to go. And time flies when you're having fun like this. So, <laughs> so welcome aboard. I would like to first bring up Trini Brassard, who is the chair of the uh, Randolph Select Board. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to Randolph. For what we're hoping is the first of many of these type of celebrations as we move our town forward. Randolph's seen new energy focus on redefining our town and bringing economic vitality to our landscape. As we started down the path of exploring how to keep our existing businesses here that wanted to grow like LED and welcome new businesses that we want to start up or want to expand in Randolph, we met with Governor Scott, Secretary Sherling and their staff to make sure we had full support behind us to make changes that were needed as well as bring funding into our community to make these projects viable. We've enjoyed their support and look forward to continuing the teamwork to make more changes that will help us reach our goals. I'd also like to recognize Senator Leahy who has continued to support economic development funding at the federal level that's helped make this all a reality. In many cases it's this funding that makes it possible for communities to afford changes and improvements they need and for businesses to be able to put together a funding profile to make this project work. We have more plans that we will need more support to make them happen as we face challenges with our infrastructure to make the town a business friendly environment as well as improve the quality of life for both residents and visitors. Today we're here to help a local business LED Dynamics take the next step to building a new facility they can grow in and continue to employ our local neighbors in good paying jobs. This is a goal all of us have and today we're grateful for the opportunity to help make that a reality. We're excited that they chose to work with Green Mountain Economic Development, the Town of Randolph and the state agencies to remain in Randolph. Thank you everybody for your efforts for this project. Thank you, Trini. Um, our district includes 30 towns, and I have to tell you, we spend a ton of time in Randolph because they're highly motivated to, to making things happen here, and we're pleased. And speaking of making things happen, the town manager in the back corner, who is very shy and doesn't want to come up here, Adolfo Bailon, uh, has been here for 10 months, and he has really picked up the, uh, uh, the process that uh, Mel Adams started, and uh, he is very, very positive, very proactive, and his staff, I think, enjoys having him uh, as their team leader, and we are thrilled to have him as part of ours. Um, I would like to quickly thank a number of people here. Um, Perry Armstrong is in uh, the second of the back row, is a newly elected select board member, uh, the owner of Rain or Shine Tent Company, and this tent. Yeah. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't have to... <laughs> 
I didn't have to ask him. Uh, he, I had to get out of his way because he was coming with a tent. Uh, the Commissioner of Economic Development, Joan Goldstein, is here um, with Brett Long, who introduced me to Bill McGrath, sitting next to her, two years ago. Um, it was clear that LED wanted some help and was all ears in terms of, uh, of accepting our lead. Um, the, uh, uh, the housing group, housing and community development group, led by Josh Hanford, who is, is right in front of me, so I can't see him, uh, and his group of Josh, of uh, Nate Cleveland, Quinn Mann, and um, other folks in his office have done a terrific job uh, guiding us throughout the process. Um, I believe uh, Rita Cito is here from uh, Two Rivers out of Quiche, but I haven't seen her yet. Um, and Bill McGrath is the, the president of LED, who's seated here. Uh, Spencer Newman, uh, the CEO, is here with us. Yeah. Um, and CFO. Jim, CFO, sorry. <laughs> and Jim Larson, who is the director of accounting and manages their money very carefully, is also here. So these are people we have spent a ton of time with over the past two years. Uh, for the GMEDC team, I'm looking for my board chair, Sperry Wilson, uh, who's in the back waving to me. Thank you, Sperry. Um, and uh, Lisa Henderson from VMEC, uh, who has been working to counsel LED for a number of years. And it's her um, introduction initially that prompted uh, us coming into this process. So she's been part of our team uh, throughout. Uh, Tom Apple is our project manager in the front row who <coughs> helped us get through the various grant programs and the permitting process. We got an Act 250 permit in 37 days from application. So I think it's a reflection of the work Tom put into it and the response we got from the various Vermont agencies. Our attorney, Nate Stearns, is here, who's been doing marvelous work for us. He's with uh, Hershenson uh, Carter Scott McGee office in, in uh, Hartford. Uh, Brian Lane Carnes, our engineer, is also a magician. Um, I don't see him yet, but he's done wonderful work for us. Uh, and from DEW, we have Mike Smith and um, Matt Wheaton who is a business development uh, uh, person we started with uh, two years ago. And my executive assistant, Mark Condon, is uh, he's Jiminy Cricket for me. He keeps me on the straight and narrow, and we wouldn't be here without him. So very, very happy. From Vita, whom we got a, um, a large mortgage uh, approval from, uh, Tom Porter is here, and um, Sandy Croft is our loan officer, and Sandy's waving to me in the back. Um, I think that's, oh, Steve Roy from Weeman Lanfair, our architect, is also here. Uh, and we have some plans that are set up. So um, having run through that as quickly as I can, I would like to now introduce our esteemed governor, Phil Scott. I'm not sure they can hear me, Stacy says. OK, would that help? Sure, give it a try. Thank you very much. It's working now? There he goes. Well, thank you very much for coming out today. A beautiful day to be outside, and I see some heavy equipment over there. So uh, by uh, 5, 6 o'clock, we should be pouring concrete with all the help we have here. <laughs> we have all the engineers, all the, uh, the builders as well, so uh, we should be able to get this done. So as governor, one of my top priorities has been to grow Vermont's economy and strengthen and expand our workforce. So having the opportunity to be here today to see the growth and success of a Vermont business, including creation of jobs, is very rewarding. A strong economy and thriving workforce are critical to the success of our communities here in Vermont. And I'm pleased to be with you today celebrating this expansion and soon to be home, new home of LED Dynamics, a thriving local business with roots right here in Randolph. So I wanna thank uh, Bill, Bob, and many others for ensuring that LED will begin its next exciting chapter right here in Vermont, where it belongs. So we thank you for making that decision. <laughs> LED Dynamics is a great fit for Vermont with its commitment to quality, service, technology, and education in the field of LEDs, light-emitting diodes. When Bill McGrath uh, first founded this company in 2000, a new millennium had begun. A new age where technology and knowledge would be the keys to bright futures in manufacturing. Bill, his partners, and uh, employees harnessed their passion and talent to, uh, to bring LED lighting from a dream to a personal promise and then a reality for customers around the world. Vermont entrepreneurs are known for our, our innovation, and that has led to the, uh, the company's custom solutions and new products. 
Uh, if I could just tell one quick story, though, I was here. Uh, I was here a couple months ago, and uh, they showed me this new uh, product. It was a, uh, a flashlight, and it would uh, it would emit light uh, just by the, the right in your hand without a without a real battery, right, or without anything uh, to charge. And I thought that is the, probably the coolest flashlight I've ever seen. <laughs> and I said, "Where do you buy these?" And they said. Uh, well, I don't know. We don't really produce them. We did it for fun. I don't think anybody could afford these. It would cost like four or five hundred dollars a piece. But uh, maybe in the future. So these are the types of things they're doing, and they have all these neat products. And I, I remember the lantern, uh, the lantern that sits on the stove, and uh, recharges by just the heat of the stove. So these are the types of products you you all build and create. And I think it's going to be uh, something uh, interesting in the future of where you go. So uh, with this rapid growth, LED has grow, grown its uh, location on Hull Street, uh, which uh, is good news, bad news, uh, where it moved in 2004. But with this groundbreaking, uh, the Green Mountain Economic Development Corp will help LED take its next step uh, towards uh, its evolution. This new 27,600 square foot facility will allow the company to hire 43 new employees, bringing its workforce to over 100 which is significant here in this area in rural Vermont. I'm happy to support this project by endorsing the approval of a $1 million Vermont Community Development Grant for the town of Randolph. This grant will underwrite the $5 million project. The Federal Community Development Block Grant Program has been really important for Vermont and we've used it extensively. It helps communities statewide address their individual needs, which vary widely. And I really want to thank uh, Senator Leahy and the entire Vermont congressional delegation who fight hard for us every day in Washington in support of this program and many others. So thank you very much, Senator Leahy, for that. I also uh, want to acknowledge the work of my administration in Montpelier, uh, the Vermont Economic Progress Council and the Depart uh, Department of Economic Development uh, team. This project was further supported through the Veggie Program with $460,000 because it creates more than 1.2 million in projected new payroll and has capital investments of 4.8 million as well. Additionally, uh, we approved a Vermont training program grant to provide technical training for the new employees. And I'd also like to take a moment uh, to thank a number of other partner organizations where, which are providing the necessary funding to make all this work. The Vermont Economic Development Authority, or VEDA, has uh, committed nearly $3.8 million in financing under an innovative program that allows tenants, in this, uh, in this case LED, to purchase the building during the term of its lease. Next, our Randolph Area Community Development, uh, RACDC, provided $40,000 in additional financing. And Efficiency Vermont stepped up and uh, provided 18,000 in incentives to help defray the additional costs of upgrading to energy efficient alternatives, which I, I'm sure is, uh, as we all recognize, is most appropriate for this project. And I want to thank the town of Randolph and all the local and regional organizations do the hard work and make projects like this happen uh, in, uh, in throughout Vermont. As well, the staff and leadership of the Agency of Natural Resources helped ensure that all state permits were processed and responded to in a very timely fashion. As a result, this construction will proceed on schedule. I also want to thank my Agency of Commerce and Community Development, many of whom are here today to help celebrate, and I know they helped make this a successful outcome as well. It takes everyone pulling in the same direction in order to arrive at success, and, uh, and I believe that we had a great team of all of you uh, pulling in the same direction. So last and most importantly, I want to thank Bill McGrath and his team at LED Dynamics for being a bright economic light in our state. Your strong dedication and hard work has a positive impact on many people in Vermont and in this town. So I, uh, I thank you for your efforts. I look forward uh, to coming here again uh, when we cut the ribbon on the new building and you move in. So again, thank you very much for having me. Now it's time for Senator Leahy to speak to us, please. Thank you. I don't know if uh, 
I come in from the right, and the governor comes in from the left. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter in the right. <laughs> uh, I like your perspective. It's the other way around. Like uh, but you know, one of the nice things when we were monitors is a chance to be here to, uh, together. It's a team effort when you talk about economic development. Uh, all of us, the, the governor, myself, the other members of the delegation, all those from the uh, local government, others, we don't, we don't go by parties. Uh, we go by being Vermonters and what's going to make it work best. We represent Vermont, but we want our communities to be vibrant places to live and work and, and play. So we work together. We work across party lines. We set aside party lines. Uh, but I couldn't, Phil, I, I could not avoid the joke about it. <laughs> but you see, depending on which way you look at it, it makes no difference. <laughs> we want LED and their neighbors, the ARA, who are critical to the same, want them to succeed. Because the way it succeeds is if we work together. And this is an example of doing it. Vermont's future will be brighter. Okay, that's my only pun I'm going to use here. <laughs> Vermont's future will be brighter because of companies like LED that choose to expand here rather than move out of state. Marcelo just joined us here. We're, we're native Vermonters. We want to see people stay uh, in our state. So let me be among the many who thank Bill and the entire team at LED for choosing Vermont. And you couldn't choose a better location than Randolph. Would you agree with me on that, wouldn't you? And um, the most critical part of any business, though, not just the location, you have to have a great product and a good vision. You have those. And then you have at the federal level, we can bring funding like the CDBG program to the table. It also helps that you have a governor who wants to put state money into into something like this. Our state uses our CDBG uh, funds, work with partners like Bob Haynes and, and the town leadership to ensure uh, that it works. Now other states, let me just, and, and a fact that we ought to bring out, other states may use the same approach. But I think the difference is, in our state, is the scale and access to government officials. The fact that you can talk to your legislators, some of whom are here, you can talk with your governor, lieutenant governor, you can talk to the members of the congressional delegation, they're available to you. That makes a difference. I, I got a kick out of the, what was it, 34 days, 36 days? 37 days. 37 days getting the approval. <laughs> Try doing that in other states. You, it, wouldn't have, it wouldn't have worked. We have leaders like Josh who have worked hard to make this project possible, even if he didn't live in Randolph. <laughs> it's sort of like when an appropriations bill goes to the U.S. Senate, they say, what a coincidence, there's this item in here for Vermont. Uh, but Josh and his team are make sure that our federal dollars are well spent. And these dollars are one of the bright spots in a Washington that can sometimes be dysfunctional. One thing that brings Republicans and Democrats together, certainly in our appropriations committee, is we can find agreement in programs like CDBG are critical to economic development in all states. You can't just talk about one crazy job, you gotta have the tools to do it. And earlier this year, not only the three members of our delegation, but Republicans and Democratic leadership, we came together. There had been a proposal from the administration, not yours, Governor, the, the yellow one down Pennsylvania Avenue. They wanted to eliminate the uh, CDBG program. We said no. We rejected that because we've seen it work in so many states around the country. So we're going to watch LED. We're going to make sure it works. But isn't it nice that it's in Vermont? I mean, I love that. Thank you very, very much.
We are very fortunate today. I think Tom Porter is here from Vita, and if he'd like to share a few thoughts, be happy to give him a chance. Thank you very much. Be very brief here to get on so we can get the uh, the backhoe there going and <laughs> building up. We only have a couple hours, right? I want to thank Bill McGrath, Spencer, um, Bob Haynes, and especially Sandy Croft, uh, who hasn't been mentioned as much. as uh, She's Vita's loan officer and uh, yeoman's job on this project from beginning to end. Um, Vita's pleased and proud to have played a, a significant role supporting LED's expansion. This is a great example of a growing the innovative tech economy in the heart of Vermont's Green Mountains. Your success here is par part of a positive cycle that encour encourages and attracts other innovative companies to grow and expand here in Vermont. He is also pleased to highlight our long productive partnership with GMEDC. Through, the through, the through several executive directors, Joan including, Bob, we've been, help been able to help support great companies that create good paying jobs selling high value added products around the country and the world and helping import capital that sustains and enhances Vermont's quality of life. We celebrate this great example of an effective public private partnership and all your efforts to create the new facility and can't wait to see it up and working. What, six months, five months? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very we good. start today. Starting today. <laughs> Congratulations again. Now it's time for Mr. McGrath himself. <laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon. I'll keep it within a time limit, I promise. Our company, LED Dynamics, came together in the year 2000, and soon we were working out of a small room in Rochester, Vermont, a farmhouse on this new lighting technology that many folks had trouble spelling, LED. <laughs> We were very early in this emerging lighting market, and even though we had humble beginnings, we soon had a worldwide reach. Early on, we recognized this could revolutionize the lighting industry by offering never-before-imagined energy savings, long-rated lifetimes, and that solid-state lighting could render many existing forms of lighting, including the ubiquitous incandescent light bulb, obsolete. We identified recurring challenges to using this new technology and created solutions that kept others from having to overcome them to enjoy the benefits of LED lighting. We kept renting more and more of the farmhouse until it was finally time to find a new home. We found some space in the nearly empty former Ethan Allen furniture plant in 2004 and moved to Randolph. This offered us a location closer to Vermont Technical College, which was and still is providing a steady supply of the smartest people to figure out this complicated technology. The place is in pretty rough shape and we lacked the financing to furnish and outfit it properly, but as all the money was being used to fuel our growth. So on a shoestring budget, with employees and friends volunteering their time, we made it work and built a factory. Our company introduced the world's first universal LED flashlight bulb replacement in 2003, and the first all LED ballast compatible fluorescent tube replacement in 2007. Millions of this type of tube replacement are now in use all over the world today. Little by little, our LED Dynamics company grew until in 2015, we had used all the available space in our facility. We contacted VMEC, the Vermont Manufacturing Extension Center, to help us. After studying our situation, they identified some places we could improve our space utilization, but to sustain our growth and our growth trajectory and to solve the problem of the chronic sawdust contamination, because don't forget it was a furniture factory, they determined we would need more space and preferably at a different facility. We contacted GMEDC and began a search for suitable space within a 10 mile radius. After finding no acceptable existing buildings, we began a land search, which ultimately resulted in us settling on this fine location. While we received attractive, incentivized relocation offers from neighboring states, we wanted to keep the jobs in Vermont in this region and preferably in this town. In order to make that work, we would really need some help from the state of Vermont, and we got it. With their assistance in getting financing, the grants, the employment growth incentive, we were able to make the case that staying in Vermont is the best decision for our business and our community. We were able to design a facility that is energy efficient, solar powered, and yet affordable to build. The building will serve our needs well, being designed to be compliant with the latest building codes, even incorporating electric vehicle charging spaces that take advantage of its over 100% solar production goal and full solar roof. 
The methods and materials of construction have been chosen to allow the building, like the lights and components we construct, to last a very long time. The notion that manufacturing jobs in Vermont are on the way out or don't offer livable wages and benefits is simply not true. LED Dynamics does business in a highly competitive LED lighting marketplace where the clear majority of products are now manufactured offshore. What we have demonstrated is the ability to offer American-made quality craftsmanship and ingenuity at a price point that allows our customers to source domestically and compete globally. This translates to further success for the company, the addition of jobs for the local community, and revenue into our state. I believe we'd all agree that's positive for the town of Randolph, the local region, and the state of Vermont. So it's our pleasure to be in this community and be a shining example of a business-friendly Vermont. I just have some thank yous, and I promise to keep them short and to speed through them. In rehearsal, I was able to do it in less than 60 seconds. But <laughs> there's a lot of people, because as I started to write this list down, it just grew and grew and grew. So I'm going to see if I can do it in sped up time, like the credits at the end of the movie. Lisa Henderson, Bob Zier, and the folks at VMAC. Bob Haynes, Mark Condon, Tom Apple, and the folks at Green Mountain Economic Development. Julie Ifflin and the RACDC, the White River Valley Chamber of Commerce, Vermont Technical College, Amber Randolph Technical Career Center, Dave Estes and People United Bank, Joe Boyd and the Bar Harbor Bank and Trust, Joan Goldstein, Brett Long, Mike Sherling at the Agency of Commerce and Community Development, specifically the Vermont Department of Economic Development, Sandy Croft, Tom Porter and the Vermont Economic Development Authority, Vermont Employment Growth Incentive, Nate Cleveland and the Vermont Community Development Program, Dolfo Bailon, the select board in the town of Randolph, Lucky Demick and the crew from RSL, our future neighbors, Applied Research, Freedom Foods, and New England Precision. We have some really great neighbors. Brian Lane Carnes at DeWolf, the team at DW Construction, Steve Roy, who is right now keeping our plans from falling down, <laughs> and everyone at Weeman Lamp here, <clears throat> Norwich uh, Solar, and I'd like to take a moment to really thank the LED Dynamics Management Team, the employees, and especially Spencer Newman of Green Mountain Insight. And without them, we wouldn't be here for sure. Governor Scott and Senator Lee, as well as Senator Sanders and Representative w uh, Welch, all of whom have had a positive effect on our business at various stages. And with you being here today, now all of you have been at our business. So <laughs> <clears throat> to anybody else I forgot to mention, most importantly, thank all of you for coming today. This is a new beginning, and we're retaining and creating jobs in Vermont. We will continue to have a place in Vermont to provide good jobs and a place to build innovative lighting technology solutions. Now, it looks like I'm holding up the construction of the building, and that's the last thing I want to do, so let's date. He's a lot of fun to be with, trust me. Um, in, in my haste, I, I passed over um, uh, Catherine Becker von Haste from um, Senator uh, Sanders office and uh, George Twig um, who I would like to invite up to uh, give a few remarks on their behalf please and pardon me for skipping over you it was no unintentional. Problem. Forgive it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be super nice fast. Great, nice great for that time. <laughs> um, on behalf of Senator Sanders, thank you and congratulations. I think following that list of thank yous, you kind of can't beat it. I think it's such a great example of how six, what success looks like when Vermont, local, state, and the federal government come together to make projects like this happen. You mentioned some other great partners in your uh, remarks, like Vermont Tech. Um, our tech centers, we think this is a great opportunity, not just for a Vermont company, but for young Vermonters who want to work in Vermont, stay in Vermont, come back to Vermont to raise a family. So we wish you, on behalf of Senator Sanders, much success and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you all. I'm George Twig with Congressman Welch's office. I'll just say briefly, uh, the CDBG program, as evidenced by this project, is one of the very best things that the federal government does. It is a real partnership with the state, with great agencies that, you know, Joan, Josh, others work with to create jobs, to help with housing, to help alleviate poverty. It really hits a lot of marks. And I'm pleased to report on the House side, just in recent days, um, on a bipartisan ba basis, the House Appropriations Committee has decided to set what I think we would call a floor for CDBG that will be level funded to next to last year's uh, funding level, $3.3 .3 billion nationally. So uh, we're going to tee that up, send it over to Senator Leahy, Senator Sanders, so hopefully raise the tide even more so we can get more of these great projects done. And I just want to say for this project in particular, uh, Congressman Welch has always been a big fan of LED dynamics. Energy efficiency has been one of the signature issues he's worked on. And he really appreciates kind of the triple bottom line of benefits that it brings an incredibly high quality product um, for your customers, 
the energy savings, which helps save them money that can be invested in jobs and growing their own businesses, and also just the climate benefits of being able to reduce our overall energy usage and um, reduce the contribution to uh, global climate change. So it's, a, it's great, important work that LED Dynamics is doing. Um, Congress Welch is proud to support this program that's supporting you and your growth. And uh, congratulations. Thank you. All right, now that we're on to the main event. Um, we advertise this as a groundbreaking, and we brought one of the best known and most skilled operators in the state of Vermont, <laughs> who also works in the governor's office, to come dig some holes for us. So I think the pressure is on the governor, but I have full faith and confidence that he will be able to figure it out. So thank you all. <laughs>